Hello everyone. In this video we're going to talk about how to implement Facebook in your mobile app. Within the Snappy platform, right here in the WYSIWYG editor, we have the option to implement Facebook in a number of ways. The first option is by implementing a Facebook tab. Up here in the tabs section you will see the Facebook tab. You can bring it down to your tab bar and once it opens up you can do one of two things. You can leave it exactly the way it is here with the URL to just go to Facebook. What this will allow your user to do is they can click on this Facebook tab, log in with their information, and then they'll have a feed directly to their Facebook inside the app that you've created. Or, if you want to direct your user to a specific website, perhaps your own, you can fill in the address of that website. In this case, I'm going to direct us to the Snappy Facebook page. So I've put in the Snappy address and click OK. I now have the ability to go out and see the Snappy Facebook page from my app. Another way that you can implement Facebook is once you are inside a screen, I'm going to take the Facebook element or button and drag it over. And again here I have the opportunity to make this a button where the user can simply go out, put in their login credentials and access their own Facebook page or you can select the Facebook page that they will be directed to and click OK. And again Facebook is automatically accessible when you make these save changes here. And if this is an app that is already published and you've decided to add new functionality like Facebook to your app, once you have done that and hit Save App, you can hit the Submit and Publish button. And you can say that you want it to publish to the App Store for Apple or Android and also an HTML5 web app. If you happen to have an app out there in all three areas, obviously you would select all three of them. If you have your app only in the Android store, that's what you're going to select. And once you have published those changes, the app user is going to see those and be able to utilize them immediately. The third way that you can connect to Facebook, the third way that you can implement Facebook is to go down and drag over the Post to Facebook button. This gives you the opportunity to predefine the information that you want the user to share on Facebook. So, for example, perhaps you want the user to say, This is a great way to promote your app. It says, I've used this app from XYZ Company and I love it. So, whatever message you specify, you can hit OK. And in this case now, when the user hits the Post to Facebook button, it's going to bring them to their Facebook page and automatically pop up that text that we just created about XYZ Company. And the user has the ability to simply post that to their Facebook page. So again, your three options to post to Facebook, right here, this button we just used, is one way to implement Facebook within your app. The Facebook button, where you have the opportunity to have the user either go to their own Facebook page or to whatever Facebook page you specify and also the Facebook tab where you can drag a tab down that specifically contains only Facebook information and again bring the user to their own Facebook page or to whatever Facebook page you specify. Once you've saved your app those pages are automatically available for your app users to see or if this app is not yet published and you're in the testing phase you would be able to immediately test the Facebook functionality once you have saved this app and that's all there is to implementing Facebook within your mobile app